Welcome again to another Curator's Chat. I'm Jason French, Curator of Collections at the Beringer Crawford Museum. Today I'm here with Bobby Mackey. I thought we would take the opportunity to kind of talk about the building and its history and what its future is and what your plans are for it. Yeah, I've been here 45 years and this old building is over 100 years old. I've always wanted to, you know, to upgrade the building, make, you know, I, I always felt like it should be better. And it, it just hit me one day, uh, you know, I think it's time. So we've uh, leased a temporary place over in Florence, the old Mugby's on US 42. We've leased that place and uh, we're going to go there and, and uh, call it temporary Bobby Mackey's is what it's going to be. <laughs> this building, you know, it's been for 45 years now. It's, yeah. It was Bobby Mackey's. Yeah. And prior to that, um, there was a number of things here before, right? There was a uh, gambling casino, gambling casino, and and uh, well, a couple of them back in the prior to '48, prior to 1946, I guess it was. It was the Primrose Country Club. Okay. It, but and before that, it was the the very original part of the building here on the front. It was a uh, roadside tavern called the Bluegrass Inn. Okay. And then it became the Primrose, and they built on. And in 1946, it became the Latin Quarter, and they kept building onto it and made a big gambling casino here. And and then it was a Hard Rock Cafe for a while was be it? before I got in. Uh, not the franchise, not, right. not somebody just called it that. I think it's probably even prior to them having the, the, the Hard Rock Cafe in New York. It's been good to me, and you know we got the Mechanical Bull opened up here in 1978. And we got the mechanical bull in 79. That's when Urban Cowboy was coming out. And I heard about that. Got a mechanical bull, and it's, it's sitting back here in the bull room in the same spot where the craps table used to sit for the gambling casino. So we've wore out about seven bulls, I guess, through the years. And if that bull's there, somebody's going to ride it. Somebody's going to ride it. And they still do. The original part of the building was, was built right around 1915, between 1915 mm -hmm. and 1920. Because there was an old guy that lived here in a, in a shanty down here. His name was Yano, and he come here. His mom and dad brought him here as a teenager from Yugoslavia, and he said he there was an area here built onto that original part where the where the bar is now that was built for a, a bowling alley. And he said he used to set the pens up in here when he's a teenager. So the building's been here over a hundred years. A lot of people know Bobby Mackey's for some of the other stories and, and to dealing with your well and everything here. Yeah. Uh, it was before it was bluegrass, what, was there meat packing or, or? It was a slaughterhouse. A slaughterhouse, that's right. But, but there wasn't a building, it was like a shed or something. Mm -hmm. And, and there's the, the well in the basement is where they drained the blood from the slaughterhouse. It was a tunnel under the, under the railroad track and into the Licking River. Okay, so that's where. That's it, how that happened. In the late 1800s, it, it uh, it ceased being a slaughterhouse and then they started doing other things. But the well is still there and found it by accident. I didn't find it. Carl that used to work here for me, he's, he's passed away now. Carl was, helped us out here tremendously when we first opened. He took care of the place. And mm -hmm. He's the one who first started bringing up stuff to me about uh, strange activity yeah. around here. And one day, he, I barely listened because he'd mumble and I didn't, I, I had my hands full trying to get this place open. Yeah. One day he said something that got my attention. I said, Carl, what are you talking about? You talking about strange things going on around here? What are you talking about? And he looked at me real, real stern. He said, oh, I said, you wouldn't believe what all goes on around here. I said, well, I don't want to hear nothing about it. And I don't want you telling nobody about it. <laughs> I don't want to run everybody off before right, I get right. the doors open. That's the way I thought about it. He didn't say nothing about it. It went on, it went on for years. And finally it started coming out. And, and, and Doug Hensley wrote a book about it. And it went from there, and, and it's, it's gone worldwide. I was down here one day, and we had to go to the basement for something, and it was a November day, and it was really cold. So I had a flashlight, and Carl had a flashlight. And we, I go in this, in this room, we used to be the China room, where they kept, where they had Chinese food here back in the, during the Latin Quarter stuff. They, oh, yeah, They served yeah. Chinese food, and they had all the, they had a room down there that, where they kept all that stuff. It's an, an asphalt floor. I was down there, and I saw holes picked in the floor with a pickaxe, just a bunch of holes. And I said, Carl, what's these holes doing here in the floor? And he said, I don't know. I got down there with a flashlight and shined down through there and I could, could see perfectly the mouth of a well. And I guess when they filled it in and built the building over it, that was the well that drained the blood from the slaughterhouse. It was perfectly round. And at the time they filled it in, they must have filled it full of dirt. But through the years it had dried and 
trains going by and sifted it down. It was, it was down about that far. It had sunk down, but it was, it was the perfect mouth of a well, and, and that's where the curiosity of the strange things uh, yeah, yeah. ca- kind of lit up, you know. I came here to play country music, and that's all I've ever cared right. anything about. Well, thank you, Bobby, for sharing this with us. Well, and thank you. Hope you folks have enjoyed this, and come and visit Bobby Mackey's, and, and can't wait to see what's in the future for this place.